Miami Heat Nation, what is going on? Back with another car video, but the grind doesn't stop, man. You guys already know you're the best supporters in the world, and I appreciate you guys so, so much. So if you guys are new and want to stay updated to all Heat content, smash that subscribe button. Anyways, man, we are going to be talking about, you know, this proposed trade by Bleach Report, which is getting the Miami Heat fans and supporters and all over social media acting a little bit crazy and to be honest with you guys i'm gonna have my own opinion on it and you guys are gonna have your own opinion on it and uh let us know in the comment sections what do you guys think anyways um so the proposed trade and sorry i can't show it on the screen um but it's jalen green the number three overall pick in dylan brooks head into the miami heat and the miami heat will be trading away jimmy butler in the 15th overall pick now let me just talk about the houston Rockets side before we get to the heat side right the Houston Rockets side, this doesn't make sense at all. Like, what are we doing? Why are we trading for a Asian player in Jimmy Butler? Which, yeah, he may help you and make you to the playoffs, but does he get you over the hump to win a championship? No, you don't make this type of move. You don't trade a 22-year-old player that's only going to get better. You get what I'm trying to say? So I don't think it just doesn't make sense. And for a team that was almost in a play last year who was competing, you know, email over there, they got so much time to grow over there. You know, they got... You know, St. Goon, they got Jabari Smith, they got Jalen Green, they got Fred Van Leet over there. It doesn't really make sense for me or the Houston Rockets organization to say, you know what? It's time to trade Jalen Green after a couple of seasons. Let's go for the big wheel. Not just yet. And if you're going to go for the big wheel, Jimmy Butler's not that guy, especially in the regular season, because we all know he doesn't try for the Miami Heat and you are going to need him in Houston. If you're trading Green, you are going to need him to try and he doesn't try. So on this end, it doesn't make sense at all. For the Houston Rockets. Now, for the Miami Heat, I'm still not doing this trade, but I understand it and I would do it next season. I wouldn't do it this year, but I would do it next season. Now, let me explain why. The Miami Heat tend to lose a lot of their players. Caleb Martin got nothing out of it. Haywood Highsmith, if he does leave, nothing out of it. Gabe Vincent, nothing out of it. Max Struess, nothing out of it. And if we are going to trade Jimmy and if the contract extension gets worse and he wants out, which is a very low chance, let's not forget, like Jimmy's not leaving Miami. This is just video purposes only, right? Entertainment only. You get it? Um, but that's just the case. If that does happen, if it gets ugly, OK, fine, I'm willing to trade Jimmy. I think you think guys think I'm a Jimmy Butler hater, but I'm not. I'm more realistic. I'm a realistic fan. I think it's time to move on from Jimmy after this season, not this season, because I think we still got to go all in. But after this season, if he doesn't go all in and he's not trying during the regular season, why pay him? Move on from him. Let's get something out of it. That's when I do the trade. That's when I go get me a young stud in Jalen Green, who was only 22 years old, which kind of fits the BAM out of our timeline, which last year's average and damn near 20 points a game, five rebounds, you know, three assists. There's obviously some concerns about Jalen Green because, you know, his IQ is not the greatest. But, you know, coming to Heat culture, you know, which will fix that. We have the best coach in the league. And then also, and that means we're just staying with all the young cats. And I I'm, I don't mind that. I will keep Jaime. I'll keep Jovic. I don't know about Tyler Hero and Jalen Green working out together. I don't know about that. Maybe you trade Tyler, you know, for some draft capital, some role players. But that's in two seasons. You get what I'm trying to say. Then you get a player in Dylan Brooks, which I'm not the biggest fan, but I do think he fits heat culture. Um, I don't really care for him like I said. Like I said earlier, you know, what he did to us a few years ago and stuff like that. But that's more of a cap salary. And then you get the number three overall pick, which I think those are the two things that matter. You get a young stud and then a number three overall pick in this year's draft. Think about that, guys, in this year's draft. I know a lot of people are saying, well, this year's draft isn't the greatest. But to be honest with you, there's going to be a lot of studs. There's going to be a lot of great players. There's going to be a lot of great players that are going to be helping championship teams. And, you know, we're considered a playoff team, so that could definitely help us, you know. So I, I, I'm all for it next season, not this year. And that's, and that's only if, only if the Jimmy Butler contract situation gets worse. So it doesn't make sense for Houston because they're fine what they are. It doesn't make sense for us this year, maybe next year, if we don't want to give them an extension and we want to get something out of it. But also, you know, there might be other trade offers that we may be interested in that's better than that, right? I don't know. We'll see. I don't know the future of this team. Um, they got to choose a direction very, very soon, very, very fast. But like I said, let us know in the comment sections. What do you guys think? I mean, I'm just thinking about it right now, man. If we load up on draft capital and a lot of young players and already the young players that we have and already the greatest coach, that is something to watch for. I'll, I think that'll be an excited season. We won't have any expectations. We'll go out there and just have fun. Why not? You know, we've been winning for a long, long time. So 
I don't know. That's kind of just my opinion about it. But if y'all enjoyed this video, once again, drop a like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys so much and I'm out. Peace.